my god at the dollar store you guys ever see these at the dollar store these little tray these little trays right here uh, my cats are harassing the dogs now i don't know but or maybe some dogs saw my cats they like to go out this time of night after dinner okay so they got little feet on them look at that i'm gonna tape it up on the back right because i don't want it to spill over and get all stuck and have to oh so at least if it if it goes over um you know i'll be able to peel the tape i'll be able to peel the tape off the back but so i'm gonna make a tray and i'll pour the epoxy on it and then maybe i can kind of move it with the heat gun a little bit out like that make look like a flower and then maybe put something in the middle like some black or something like that or a darker color i haven't picked my colors yet but let's do it these only cost well they're not a dollar anymore right it's a dollar 25. a dollar 25. so and you can pick up some inks pretty cheap you don't have to buy a whole set or anything if you don't want to and i'm going to mix up my epoxy and i'll be back and we can pour it in this is my pink apron isn't that cute that's my pink apron ooh, ooh, ooh. okay <laughs> so, you can see how cool these are i have given them to a few people they freaking love them okay be back okay now for this one. Oh, i didn't undo them I've got candy. Candy gave me a really hard time before. Okay, she opened up. And I've got kiwi. Now these aren't metallic, so they're not gonna have quite the same um, glittery reaction. And then this one is sky. These are by Pixis. That color is not sky, that is cobalt. It's a cobalt blue, a little bit darker color. I originally picked sky and then I changed my mind to a little bit darker color. Okay. Whoops. So now I'm going to do sky or whatever I said that color was. Let's go. One more around here on the outside. Okay. I'll leave them open in case I need to do something else. And then let's just put a little, oh, whoops, I always do that. Let's just put a little kiwi in the center. Or I'm not kiwi, candy. It's la candy. Okay, so I'm just gonna pour from the center. So I have, so I did two ounces and it's dripping off, but it's better to have more than less, right? You don't wanna not have, oh, oh no, candy, what are you doing? You're not staying in the circle, Candy. Let's just kind of pour it like that and see what happens if I do it this way instead of going all around. It kind of pushes it out, but maybe it's going to give it more of that look that I want. Let's see. Pink is really taking over here. I'm going to kind of go around the edge now. Oh, man. Okay. I'm digging it. I can do this, and I think I will scrape it. Okay, that's kind of cool. What do you guys think of that? So I'm going to have to rotate it around. So I love working with the alcohol inks. Can you see it good? I hope so. Okay, so I had my epoxy mixed up and sitting in that little cup and I had heated it up. So what happens is it can get really hot, your epoxy, and it can start to get gummy. So it starts to harden up on you and that's what's happening here. So if that ever happens to you, just take a stick or like I could have used my gloved finger too because you know, I've got gloves on. And what you wanna do is you have to, um, oh, there's a cup stuck to the tape there. You have to um, just manually push it out. Um, so it does happen and that's what you wanna do is be very careful when you're choosing an epoxy brand to use. Typically the ones for jewelry 
will set up really fast. They might have like a 10 or 15 minute work time. I like to get ones that say that I have 20 minutes or I have 30 minutes to work with it. Another thing I wanna tell you is I'm using the heat gun here and I can do that without really ruining the epoxy because it's on like that, a little glass tray. But let's say that I had a metal tray that I was working with. What would happen is the I would cook the epoxy because it's already hot and it would bubble up. And then once it bubbles up, it's going to become very dull and you will no longer have your shiny, um, pretty color that the resin gives colors. So you want to be careful of that. And I've learned all of these things the hard way. So I just thought I'd throw that tip in there for you. If you're new um, at working with resin, which I assume you are if you're watching my video. Okay, and then that's it. We'll get back to it. Okay, so I'm going to add some of my sky in here. I mean, my cobalt. Okay, because this is not cool. So this one will be different because I don't want to have all this blur like this. It's really bugging me. So this is just going to be its own weirdness here. Okay, count the dots. Count the dots, babies. Kind of cool, though, huh? What do you think? Weird. That's what I'll say, weird. I think I like it because it's so funky. I'm going to put some of this um, pearl on it. Let's see what happens. Getting some little cell action here. Let's see. Oh, that's so pretty. Maybe that'll, I don't know if you guys can see that bubbling like that. Put a little silver inside that pearl and see what happens. Oh, it interfered. I'm gonna put a little silver inside the pearl and see what happens. Can you guys see that bubbling? It's trippy. It's so bubbling right there. I don't know why. This is only for the true funk affectionado. Do I dare do it there? I did it. Well, I did it. Put it in that little bubble there. This is weird, the reaction it's having. It's very trippy. I like it. Mm -hmm. That's a trip. It's a real trip, you guys. Look at that. Why does it do that? Look at that. What's it doing right there? Why does it do that right there? Moose coming to see us. Okay. Okay, this is just total psychedelic here. Hi, Moo. What are you doing, Moo? Hmm? 
You can't come up here, buddy. We got ink sitting here. Yeah, I do. Okay, that's enough, baby. One more right there. You have a little balance? Okay, that's it. Okay, that's it now. Okay, guys, I'll bring you down and show you a close-up of both of them. I'll be right back. Here's a funky one up close. Weird, huh? Very trippy. Look at that. I like that pink in there. It's like a little flower inside there. The way that it moved about. That's just the silver there. There's some silver, and then there's blue in the silver, green in the blue. This one's kind of an experiment, you guys, like a broken heart right there. Look at that blue one. It's like it was a piece of cake and somebody cut off the edge of it, that blue thing right there, and ate it. Am I hungry? Or do I just like sweets? Okay, look at that. I'm shaking, sorry. And I like that little purple blonde flower. That's cute. But you can see the shimmer in it. Okay. This one's just weird. You know. I don't know. Okay, let's unwrap this tile. My lighting. I need to get better at my lighting because, see, I got like a shadow on it. I wish that I had it. Well, there's a light right there in it, but I wish I had it more like that while I unwrap it, but I'm going to unwrap it and then I'm actually, I'll get it in the light better for you guys so you can see it. Okay. Now what I want to do is make sure that this stays in the picture while I do it. Okay. So here's the, here's all the tape on the back. Here are some little drips. So let's see. Hopefully you can take these off by kind of heating them up a little bit and taking an exacto knife to them. But um, hopefully that comes off with the tape. So let's just give it a whirl and see. Okay. I am actually watching this. Oh, I don't know. Watching it through my viewer. while I do it. I'm going to have to just focus. Okay. And I don't want my head in the way. All right. So let's see here. Oh yeah. Look at that. Came right up. See? So you using, just using a painter's tape, this is just cheap stuff too. It's not frog tape or even the blue stuff. It's the cheapest stuff that they sell at the Home Depot. Okay, let's see about this side now. Oops. This one. Oh, it's not coming off as easy because the tape's not long, long ways on there. Okay, so let's just turn it this way now. I 
hope that's still in the picture. Okay, a little overflow right there. Get over there. I may have to use something sharp right here. Did you guys get the gist of it? Right? So let me get the rest of it off. So yeah, you definitely want to tape it. Okay, I've got a little bit of action here. Oh yeah, now see, look at that right there. Okay, I'm gonna just turn it this way. Okay, so I've got a little bit coming off here. Okay, there's a little piece right here, see that? So. Sometimes you can just, there, get it off like that because it's only been a couple days. So that piece came off. Okay, so then this is, there might, this actually might just be tape right here. That's, you guys see it? It's kind of hard to see the edge on that. Might actually just be some tape right here. And that's why it's easy for me to pull pull it off. I just wanted to show you that for anybody who ever has a hard time with it. Okay, so you're just going to, you're just going to, um, there. Now, these two, I'll have to get an X-Acto knife probably. That little thing came off pretty easy, but like here's another little piece sticking out and um, somewhat satisfying getting them off of there. Now this is harder. This is not, oh, okay, no, nope. it's still bendable enough that I think I'm just going to be able to get it right off the ass. See that? Be able to, it's tape, but it's covered in paint, so. Um, That's the thing about epoxy is that you have to, um, see like here's some tape right here it's stuck on there. Uh, it's sticky and then it dries. So you don't want to wait, like you don't want to leave it. If you have stuff on the edge like this, you don't want to leave it for a long time because it will get harder and it'll be more difficult to get off of there. But anyway, I'll clean that up. But let me just show you the color because it's different now. It's a little bit, it's kind of transparent here, see? But O-M-G, it's so pretty. Now see, it's not really transparent here, but if I have it on, but see now when I put it to a different angle like that, you can still see these colors. Oh, I got a little blemish. I got a little bubble there. You can still see these colors. Here, isn't that cool? So these are metallic. Well, the green's not metallic, but I put it on top of the pearl. I put it on top of a metallic, so yeah. Check that out. And then of course it's gonna be darker when it's on top of something. So this would be really cool on like a glass table, but you can put anything you want on it. It's an eight by eight and it does have these little feet right here to protect it. It's kind of, so you know what I mean? So you don't just have glass there. You can put it in a bathroom, you can put it in a kitchen, you can put a candle on it. You could put shot glasses on it if you don't want to move it. You could, it's a food um, safe epoxy. It's food safe epoxy, so you could literally put food on it if you wanted to. Whatever you want, but I love this, you guys. I just love the color. So, I'm actually calling this one Funkalicious. 
I think it's Funkalicious. So, not really a word, but I'm going with it. Okay, I did another one and my hair was in the way. I did another video. I did another tray and it's really beautiful. And my hair is in the way the whole time. So, I'll just show you the results on that one, okay? This is the one my hair was not in the way. And I'll post a picture after I clean it up. Okay. All right, you guys. Thanks for joining me. Please like and subscribe if you enjoyed this. And then you'll see I do, I work with epoxy, work with inks. I mostly do painting, but I'd love to do my epoxy. I think I'm going to do another couple more uh, bar trays. My lavender flowers and my blue flowers came in and they're gorgeous. All right. Peace out. This is how it looked when I poured it, but I messed with it, but I really love this look. Okay, this is how I laid down the inks in a circle, but I wanted to try to do a flower and push it out, so I wasn't able to keep this look, but I just think this is gorgeous. But, okay, so I didn't really have any rhyme or reason for it, but it'll look really pretty. I'm going to move that epoxy over right there with my stick. It's not covered right there, so that it will be covered. And then when it dries, I can just peel off the back. Okay, here are the results of the other tray, but it still has the paint on it, but it's all dry now. I just love epoxy resin. Okay, so let's take this off and see. I had more, uh, this was the first tray I did, and so there's more epoxy on here than on the one that I just went over with you guys. Um, I just couldn't, I couldn't show all of the um, filming because my hair was in the way. And I, it, it, I film on an iPad, as you know, if you follow me, because I say it all the time, but I need to get a better camera. But that's going to be a ways out there. I'm going to need to build up my channel, I'm not monetized or anything. And so, um, maybe if I sell some of my stuff, I could afford to do that because, um, uh, the camera is on a corner edge. Of course, you know, this is like a tablet actually. And, um, if I put the camera down here on this edge instead of up here or over on this side here, but if I put it right there and I don't notice and then when I, cause I'm standing, you know, behind my table here. So then when I lean in, you just see my head. So there, that's coming up, see that? That's why you wanna have tape on here. Uh, first time I started taping the back of these trays, I was using um, packing tape <laughs> because I could lay it in bigger sheets, but I actually like using uh, this tape better, the painter's tape. Okay, so let me just, just rip this here. Okay, now let's try to get it up here. It's going to be nice if I can get that thing off. Nope. I don't know if that's going to happen. There's a little bit of an edge there, see? Mm. 
Ooh, see, that's epoxy right there. You can see how it's darker right there. Spilled onto that. So this one could be a little bit more challenging, but let's see. Can I just get it all off in one thing? Let's try. Bring it down. Get some good leverage on it. Oh. Oh, pretty good. Yep, look at all that that I got off of there. Pretty dang good. There's still some stuff here. Oh, this is tape. So I think I'm probably, this feels pretty hard. I think I'm gonna have to heat this up a little bit, but that is tape right there, so it should lift off fairly easily. Um, this is really turning into a long video, but you can see how transparent this stuff is, um, the inks, which is kind of nice. Now, these, these uh, Pixis inks that I have, they are um, not a real expensive brand, so, you know, I don't know about the pigment. And then you can also put mica in your epoxy, but I just used inks on this, but you can see it's a very light. And let's see, there's a little bit of the gold here. Let's see if I can pick it up there. Get you guys to notice it. Let me see. The shimmer on the gold. Kind of hard to see in this light. Let me try something else very right back. Yeah, it's just I'm having a hard time getting that shimmer for you so you guys can see it. But there is a gold, gold shimmer in here. It would have been nice if I would have added some of the um, pearl in here. It would have um, given it some more shimmer, but it is very pretty. It's more of a handsome tray. So two totally different styles, um, as you can see, because we've got this one, which is really more classic. And then, excuse my head, We've got this one that's more classic, and then we've got, you know, this one here. That's very funky. There you have it. Please give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed the video. Please subscribe to my channel. Share with your friends if you think they would like it. If you have any questions, um, ask me, and if I know the answer, I will tell you or I can recommend um, a place, you know, places for you to, uh, um, you know, to maybe look and see how to do certain things. But my suggestion is if you have never worked with epoxy, that's tape right there. If you've never worked with epoxy resin, start with something small like a tray from the dollar store. Uh, and then that way, if it messes up, you know, you're just out the cost of your epoxy, which is expensive, and your resins. Resins are not expensive, and um, I'm sorry, not resins, inks. Inks are not expensive, and um, but the resin is. And then, of course, these trays are just $1.25, and they're real cute. It said 8x8 eight eight on the... Um, you know, when I was at the dollar store, but it doesn't look like eight. Let's measure it in the same. Is it eight inches? Oh, yeah, just about. Almost. Yep, it is. It's about eight inches. Okay. All right, guys. Until the next one. Um, yeah. I hope you guys have a great day. Um, I'm starting to feel better, but I've um, been having a hard time. I've been having a hard time because I had a client pass away. and um, um, I've known this client for about three years, so it's just shocking. 
and also a reminder that there's no guarantees. We never know when our, you know, we never know how long we have on this earth. So make the most of it. Tell the people you love that you love them. Show kindness and compassion whenever you can. And especially to yourself. So I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.